And perhaps a sign of that is also Delhi's uh, annual battle against pollution. The national capital's air quality has slipped to the very poor category, primarily because of the steep rise in stubble burning in the last two days. Authorities say that stubble fires are contributing to 14% of the city's deteriorating air. Data states that as many as 1,948 farm fires were recorded in just two days on October 15th and October 16th. This compared to 1,795 incidents between the 5th of October and the 14th of October. Well, we've heard several governments uh, put forward solutions. We've heard several governments bickering, in fact, uh, over the quality of air and the reasons for that air pollution as well. But uh, we are going to try and understand what it is really as a long-term basis that we need to do to be able to fix this annual problem. Arun Srivastava, Assistant Professor of Environmental Studies in JNU, joins us. Uh, uh, Mr. Srivastava, good evening. Thank you so much for speaking to Mirror Now. We've seen uh, measures such as let's ban firecrackers every year. We've seen measures and schemes which are innovative and perhaps which are even needed on a regular basis like odd and even or, uh, you know, a red light off or a guardy off. We've seen these kind of schemes. But on a long-term basis, are things like banning firecrackers really, is it like putting a Band-Aid on a fracture? Yeah, ne definitely they are also required as far as burning, uh, uh, stopping the fire cracker burning or even etc. It can be on pilot basis, but definitely it's not going to give a permanent solution. We'll have to work on it. I think these problems had been, uh, people had been pondering upon it for a very long time, but so far, uh, not any, I mean, so far nothing has been done significantly. And as far as this stubble burning is concerned, now it is going to be a major problem because <clears throat> in the month of October or November, this happens. And this actually has serious implications because more or less entire Delhi gets engulfed in the thick smog. And that is very dangerous. That is actually toxic. Usually it is toxic in nature because it contains good uh, good amount of uh, black carbon or shoot, what we call them as soot, they are usually toxic in nature and they are very fine in sight. So implication is that it can easily reach into the deeper portions of our lungs and other parts of respiratory system and it might cause tonic or acute diseases. So it affects long term. Definitely people are taking, I mean the <laughs> policy makers are taking steps and on paper or in reality, I don't know exactly, but they're taking steps and uh, uh, for odd even many things have been done. But as far as this double burning is concerned, I think it should be taken on a priority basis because it is very injurious to health. And uh, I think last year, last to last year, uh, they had come with a solution that uh, they will allocate some money to the farmers who burn and not to, not to burn the um, stubble Instead, they should cut it out and get it removed. Apart from that, I also heard that there is some big machine, very big machine is coming, and that is uh, on subsidized basis will be rendered towards the farmers so that the stubble can be uprooted from the, um, uh, what you say, from the uh, field. But I don't know how effective it has been. And definitely, as far as media and other things are concerned, they are mostly confined till the roadside because the farms start from the roadside and keeps on going to the inner parts of the area. So maybe some kind of precautionary measures or this money distributing not to burn the stubble or those machinery work might be confined. This is what I think might be confined to the roadside farms, but is still in the deeper parts it is still get, uh, I mean, people are burning stubble. If you see, I don't know this year's image, whether NASA has published or not. Last year image, if you see, it is intentionally, I mean, this stubble burning has intensively confined the entire thing. And more or less from all sides, it is not only Punjab, it is not only Haryana, even some part of Western UP as well as Rajasthan. Although their number is lesser than that of Punjab and Haryana, but they do burn. So, but Delhi suffers, whether it is Punjab, Haryana, a small quantity or large quantity, but Delhi suffer. So, if you see the image of NASA, you'll find that more or less from all the sides. 
and i mean it is having a very aerial extension it is extended in a very large area and fortunate uh, in, unfortunately the entire problem this uh, mm, uh, stable burning smoke because of the winds because of the stable environmental conditions because of the winter onset because of temperature inversion all this unfortunately makes the situation such that there is suffers entire smoke from all those places migrate to the migrate to the environment of delhi and in due course of time this smoke gets converted into the smog yes emoji that is in fact more dangerous that is more injurious to the health the smog is actually formed by sulfur dioxide particulate matters and the environmental condition so the major component of smog is particulate matter and sulfur dioxide mm-hmm. both are very injurious to the health uh, uh, particulate matters especially the soot particles are toxic in nature and as far as this uh, sulfur dioxide is concerned it might form one acid that is called as uh, sulfuric acid and it has implications for the respiratory system especially the upper respiratory system so smog is a major problem and i do see because as i remember the very first incidence of smog that took place way back in 19 uh, sorry 2017 so it's almost four years this is fifth episode that is about to happen and i don't know how successfully uh, the policy makers have i mean uh, done to overcome these things well uh, mr shrivastava appreciate you joining us with those uh, views there it is something of course we all need to keep in mind uh, the impact that this is having it's not just about politics it's about how it's affecting the residents of delhi that the air that they are breathing Uh, Mr Shivasta thank you so much for speaking to Mirror now